Yo, what's up? I'm Mitchell. We're here at Chichibella and we're going to make some fresh pasta today. The flour has all the gluten in it and a bit of protein and flavour and moisture from the eggs. It's what you make your dough with. That's all you need, bro. That's all pasta is. So we're not going to overmix it. We're just going to combine it like almost like you would if you were making a short crust pastry dough where you're just trying to get a breadcrumb like texture. Not to dread like Bob's or rocks. It looks kind of dry, yep. but if you squeeze it together, it holds. So that's how you know there's enough moisture in the dough. You don't need it to be any wetter than that. Delicious for the tongue. You know, usually like you see like past the videos and stuff, everyone like rests it in a ball. They wrap it in glad wrap and rest it in a ball. But you don't roll past that in a ball, you roll past the flat. So you want to start with a flat product. Try your luck, take your chance. So I, I always find that most people when they make a pasta dough, they make it too wet. And when they make it really wet, that means the gluten stretches too much and the pasta doesn't hold its shape. So we make our dough quite dry. And then to rest our dough, we vacuum seal it using the cryovac machine. And what that does is removes all the oxygen from the dough, meaning it's going to stay in pristine condition. So this is the, ext the extruder attachment. So this is where we can make all the fun, cool shapes. So if you look at the die, you can see the, the shape that the, the pasta will come out. So we'll start with Bucatini. I'm 20 something years of age. So this is good for like saucy stuff, like ragus and that kind of thing, because it has the hole in the middle. It soaks up all the sauce and all the sauce gets inside the pasta. Yeah, my fear shall decrease. Learn about life. Pastas like linguine, fettuccine, mattagliati, ravioli dough, stuff like that. We use an egg dough. We use really good free range eggs from Toluca Park in New South Wales. And we use Caputo pasta flour, which is an Italian pasta flour. And it's a really high quality product. Thought about it. Much, much so that's one dough. And then the other type of pasta we make is an extruded pasta. We use the extruder to make all the fun different shapes. So we use it for bucatini, spaghetti, macaroni, malaredos, strozzapreti. So this is, this is semolina. So for the extruded pasta, we use an Australian semolina called Bellata Gold. And it's just semolina and water and a bit of salt dissolved in the water. And that's it. Take the weight for some next kids short. Your We have gold. seven seven pastas on the menu, so I like to use a different shape for every dish. Everything's designed to pick up sauce and hold sauce. This here is that's another big thing about choosing the right pasta for the dish you're doing is that they all it matches the sauce. The pasta and the sauce can all be eaten together. The bliss, eternal stress and fit. Go. Okay, so you can see all the gluten's going this way, right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold against it. But now we're gonna feed it through this way. So that's gonna force the gluten to then stretch this way. And because we've just folded all those layers into it, we're layering the gluten and then we're forcing it a different way. So what we're doing is we're starting to cross hatch because that's what builds strength in the pasta. Come on. Honestly, it's simple cooking, using really good ingredients, treating them with respect, using what's seasonal. What? It's a romance sport, yeah, yeah. Chichibel is not purely Italian. We sneak a, a few little sneaky things in every now and then, but when you see it on the plate and when you taste it, it, it tastes like Italian food. It's very, it's very approachable. It's very simple. It's very light and fresh and acidic. It's very reminiscent of the, the south of Italy. Here I am in front of the camera for probably the first time ever to talk about the video that you've just watched. That video was done for a restaurant called Chichiabella down in Bondi. The reason I'm doing this is that we're in lockdown in Sydney. I thought I would record myself in front of camera, talk a little bit about the project, how it happened, how it was shot, what was the idea behind it, and what made it special. 
I want to also preface that Mitch or the chef and basically the main person in the video doesn't work for Chichi Abela anymore. The video was unfortunately never released at the time that Mitch was working for Chichi Abela. And so now it's more of a portfolio piece. The whole thing was filmed at the end of 2019. The song on the video is actually not copyrighted material. But because the video was actually never released commercially, I thought that it would be a better track. And so I kind of rechanged and re-edited it so that it would have this hip hop track that I think works a lot better. So the thing that was interesting was that the brief was pretty loose. I mean, it was just a, an email that said, go in there, talk to Mitch, ask him about the pastas and the dishes that he's making, ask him to talk about them. So I was like, okay, sure, simple enough. But when we got there on the day, it was just me and Mitch. I decided to not put Mitch in an interview setup, kind of like what's happening with me here. Mitch has had plenty of media training, so I know that he's good and great in front of camera, but I still thought that not being in a seated position where you kind of feel stiff and it's hard to move, and you're in front of camera and somebody's asking the questions and you have to think about them over and over again. I thought that the way I would ask him about the, the dishes that he's creating is that I would film him, make them and ask him as he's doing it. So that he's always got something in his hands. He's always doing something. Most people, when they make a pasta dough, they make it too wet. And when they make it really wet, that means the gluten stretches too much and the pasta doesn't hold its shape. I thought that worked out really well because that's kind of the main idea behind why I think that video works, is that the conversation feels authentic and natural. It doesn't feel staged. Now it has all the gluten in it, and a bit of protein and flavor, and moisture from the eggs, it's what you make your dough with. That's all you need, bro. That's all pasta is. And that's because he was just talking to me as though he was basically teaching me how to do the things that he was doing. Lighting-wise, I had two lights with me. I was trying to keep it pretty simple because it was actually during the day, there was a lot of chefs around. I was also by myself, so handing the camera, trying to get Mitch to answer questions, making sure my audio was rolling correctly, and then afterwards move lights around, kept it as simple as possible to try and concentrate on the story rather than set up every shot. A little bit less time to prepare things, but you know, still making sure that the scene's lit, that you know, something nice comes out of it. So that's basically the gist of it. It's a piece that I'm really proud of. I actually would like to develop that ID and build that up and continue to create different episodes of little food documentaries filmed in that style, in that casual, charismatic kind of way where the conversation flows and feels natural and none of these stiff interviews that are a little bit awkward. I think there's potential in filming some of those, so I look forward to doing more. If you've made it this far, thanks for listening.